In this video, we will be observing the motion graphs for a moving object. We will first observe the distance time graph and a speed time graph for a moving object. On the top, we will be observing the movement of a car over a distance. The bottom left will show the distance of the car from its original position as it moves with time, while the graph on the bottom right will show the speed of the car as it is moving. The car starts to move and you can see the distance increases as it moves away from its original position while the speed remains constant. And as the car slows down, you can see how the distance gradient decreases while the speed also drops. The car has come to a stop, so you can see the distance doesn't change while the speed remains at zero. And then the car suddenly moves backwards, so you can see on a distance time graph, the distance drops suddenly to zero with a steep gradient while the speed shoots up to a much higher value. Now, let's observe the same motion of the object, but with displacement time and velocity time graphs instead. So as the car starts to move, the displacement also increases while the velocity remains constant. And when the car slows down, the velocity also drops. When the car stops, the displacement remains at the same value over time while the velocity remains at zero. Then when the car suddenly moves backwards, the displacement also suddenly drops to zero with a steep gradient. And because it's moving in the opposite direction, the velocity is now at a negative value. This video was created to help students understand how to read and interpret motion graphs based on the motion of an object that is moving. I hope you found this video to be educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos by Miss Hu, your physics teacher.